So, you want to start your KDP business, but you don't have the sort of money to be paying for expensive softwares like Adobe Illustrator. Well, stick around because today I have the perfect video for you. Now, if you haven't been here before, my name is Rory and I run this channel here. Before we get into anything, can I ask you guys to smash that like and subscribe button as it would be greatly, greatly appreciated and doesn't take you half a second to do. So many of you may have heard of Google Slides before and well, if you haven't, today is your lucky day. It's basically Google's version of a PowerPoint or Keynote depending on whether you're on Apple or Windows and it is free to access on any single computer as long as it has Google. You can open a Google page which on most computers you can on any computer you have but how good is it at creating a KDP book? Well let's find out. So the way we're going to go about it today is we're going to go to my Gumroad store look at an interior that I've created in Adobe Illustrator high quality logbook interior and see if we can make the exact same or if not very very similar sort of interior in Google Slides and how easy it is to use. So let's get into it. Now to start off as you can see, we have my Gumroad store up. If any of you guys haven't seen it, it's linked in the description below. But this is just my Gumroad store. I have a few things listed up here, all for free. I've got a lined paper, three comic book interiors, my thousand subscriber gift, and a bunch of other things. And you can see we've got three different logbook interiors here. And the one we're going to be looking to replicate today is this workout logbook interior. So if we click on that, well, as you can see, it's a nice interior. It's one that I made in Adobe Illustrator in this expensive software. What we're going to do is we're going to firstly download it and then we're going to go into Google Slides and then start creating. So all you've got to do is click add to cart and well name a fair price first so we're not going to spend any money on it. Add to cart, click checkout and then click get and then you should just be able to view content and download the PNG which we are going to do now. And then it's just very simple you can open up the PNG and as you can see we can see the interior here and this is what we're going to be basing our interior off today. So now let's go to the software we're going to be using today which of course is Google Slides and all it is it's very very simple you've got to have a Google account just to be able to log in but you just type in Google Slides on Google and then it will be the first one here Google Slides free online presentations. So if we click that and then click go to Google Slides it will take us straight there and then to start off all you've got to do is click blank and it should create us a blank PowerPoint if any of you guys have seen Keynote, PowerPoint, that sort of thing. Well it's exactly the same. Then all you've got to do, well we don't need these things here, this subtitle and title boxes, you can delete them. And then well as you can see at the moment it's not the right size and um, well we're going to be wanting a 6 by 9 inch interior, that's the interior size we're going to be working with today. And to do that it's very very simple, you just go file all the way down to page setup here at the bottom, click that and then where it says widescreen, just click that and then click custom and then we can get our custom sizes. So if we're making six by nine inches, we've got it set to inches, make sure that's set to inches, click six and then nine. Create that and well, as you can see, it's looking like an interior already. So then we go to designing. So if we pull up our PNG once again, we have it here. Well, we can see to start off with, we have three different boxes like this all separated out in three different boxes. So we're going to do that same thing. So if we just go to the shape tool here, click shapes and then this box, well we should, if we just drag out a box, be able to create something like so and then just drag it into the center. It will have all sorts of things to make sure it's centered. Drag it in, maybe make it a tiny bit smaller and then we got to change the coloring. So we don't want a fill color, make that transparent and we want the border color to be black. So we have it, there's our first box and then what is the second step? So we have two other boxes of similar size to create. So again we go shape tool, go to the rectangle tool and create another box like so making sure they're both the same width. So we've done that making sure once again fill color transparent and the borderline black. And then what you can do just like Adobe Illustrator you can hold alt and it will drag over a box the exact same size and as you can see it's going a bit too far down for me and the spacing isn't quite right between each box so all you can do just highlight everything and move everything up slightly and there we go it's looking slightly better this is actually looking like a comic book interior at the moment so then what's the next stages so 
we have all these lines to create, which is a simple job. It just takes a bit of time and let's get to it. So how many have we got? We have one, so one big one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 boxes, so we need to draw 10 lines. So again, we've just got a basic line tool here and then we have to draw 10 lines and holding shift, you can make it a straight line as well. So doing that, just going all the way down, making sure once again, it is black. Um, all you can do again is holding alt, drag it out and then just keep going out, creating these lines. Just takes a bit of time, but trust me, it's worth it in the end and trying to keep equal spacing in between. And then just to get a better idea, we can zoom in by just clicking on the zoom tool here and zooming in ever so slightly. And already it's looking okay. It's not looking too bad. And then we can adjust all sorts of different things. Unfortunately, something you don't get is obviously all the like smart object tools, which is what it's called in Adobe Illustrator, where it can clip and make sure the spacing in between is exactly the same. So it's sort of, it's a bit of hit and miss where when you're trying to do that sort of thing. But at the moment, I'm gonna be honest, it's not too bad. So then once we have that, we've got to go downwards with all the lines and how many lines did we have there? So we have 10. So again, another 10 lines and we can do that. Just dragging across, holding shift again, drag across, making sure it's straight. And then again, following the same pattern of going downwards and then while well, we've done all of that so then I'm gonna hold shift to press all these ones just to move them down slightly making sure I'm not clicking the box on the outside as well and obviously it doesn't have to be exactly the same as the one I'm replicating but it looks pretty similar so then what do we have to do so then we have to get all the text the exercise, the reps, and that sort of thing, which is very, very simple, but we're actually gonna leave that till slightly later on. And then we've gotta go back to the line tool and create some more lines here as well in this box below. And then, well, when we looked at the thing, our image we're copying, there's only four lines, so we can remove some of these and just get the spacing as accurately as we can. Boom, like, so, and then how many more lines do we have going down? So one, two, three, four, five. Five lines going down. So if I hold Alt, do that, boom, like that. And then let's zoom out quickly again. So if we just go 100%, and as you can see, it's not looking too bad. Then all we've got to do is fill in the text. So to do that, it's a text box tool like this and you just draw a box like that and then you can write in your text. So the first one is exercise. Now we just need to obviously decrease the size of everything to make it fit in the box like so. You can make it bold, you can then change your text. So I'm not a fan of that one at the moment. Let's go for something very, very simple. Let's go for impact because I quite like that one and then we can increase the size again, get it up slightly to a seven, and then we can go across each box and fill it all in. So we had reps and then we had weight, and then just go through holding Alt and just copying them all over like so. All we've got to do tiny little adjustments here and there just to make it look a bit better. These are the kind of things that people notice when they look at your book and compare it to other sellers, which one they will pick. It's all these small details like that. And then we can zoom out again. So going back to a hundred percent and then all we've got to do, well, we've got to fill in the other boxes. So we've got cardio, time, distance, heart rate and calories. So we can do that going back to this box, holding Alt, dragging it down cardio and what I like to do is I like to keep all the fonts same size even if it doesn't fit perfectly in the box well it just keeps it all nice and keeps a theme going through there we go and then again making slight adjustments making it all that tiny bit better and the last one was just a simple box here where we just put the word notes in and then if we zoom out make it fit to screen well, there you have it. That's already looking really, really nice. And then a simple thing that I added at the top of my one was just the word date, do that. And then a bunch of underscores like so, 
change the font, match it all the way through to impact. There you have it. We've just created an interior in a software made by Google, made for free for everyone to use. And well, let's have a look at the comparison. I mean, you can hardly see anything. Okay, there's slight differences. And if I was to pick one, I would pick the one on the right. However, with spending a bit more time, I could tweak the one I made in Google Slides. And comparing that the one on the right I made in a software which can cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars, you know, <laughs> I mean, this already shows you that you don't have to have these good softwares if you're creating excuses for yourself as well that, oh, I can't start this business because I don't have the money to pay for these good softwares. I've just created that interior right there. And you can imagine you could put this all into other interiors as well, not just log books. You've got just normal plain line books. Those sell well. You don't need a good software for that. You've got things like coloring books. You could theoretically if you were like getting vect easy and stuff that sort of thing this is just a free software that everyone can access on google as long as you have a google account and then if you want to create the 120 pages so we select the first page click command c command v and then boom copy all the way down to 120 pages i'm not going to do that obviously it will take too long and then all you have to do then is click file download download as a pdf so we'll just click that open up that PDF and there we have our 120 pages or however many pages we choose to create. I'll leave the link to Google Slides in the description below and all I can say is make sure you get out and test out this software. If you don't have other sorts of softwares that you're using, test it out and well, really see how simple it is. And I would give it honestly an A out of 10. Obviously, I'm not going to be changing from Illustrator to Google Slides, but for people out there not having any sort of money to pay for Adobe Illustrator or other softwares, Photoshop, that sort of thing, this is definitely a way to go. I wanted to open the eyes of all you people out there. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.